And I have a croissant! <laughs> Did you know actually that the French kiss was, is not really French? According to the French law, you can marry a dead person. Hi guys, it's me again, Van Fong, and today we are going to speak about France, my beloved country. I'm going to talk to you about some random facts that you probably don't know. Let's go! Fact number one, let's speak about superstition. Just like Vietnam and many other countries, French people have some weird beliefs of things you should do and things you should not do. When you have bread, you know that bread is very famous in France, never put the bread upside down, that brings bad luck. Another one you probably don't know, if you walk in the street and you see a dog poo, never step on the dog poo with your right foot. Always step on it with the left foot. You will have no trouble. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Not today. <laughs> Another one I really like when you are with your friends and you want to cheers all together. Always make sure to look them in the eyes. If you don't, you will have seven years of bad luck with your sex life. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never. Understand. And now one I didn't even know. When you move to a new house in France, you have to bring first the table. If you don't, it will bring bad luck to your house. <laughs> Fun fact number two, the guillotine was last used in the 1970s. The guillotine was the state method of punishment capital until the 1981. That was like 40 years ago. That was not that long ago. <laughs> I don't know about you, but myself, I think I would prefer to have my head cut off than to be on an electric chair. 75 years later. Ago. No, please, don't kill me. I just stole a baguette. <laughs> Fun fact number three about naming your pet in France. Actually, each year is assigned a letter to name your pet. For example, 2021 is a letter S. So if your dog, your cat, or I don't know, whatever, is born in 2021, you have to name them with a name starting with the letter S. For example, Sophie, Simon, Sugar, or anything starting with S. Another fun fact about pet, it's illegal in France to name your pig Napoleon. He may have been dead for over 200 years. It's still illegal today to name your pig Napoleon. So don't, or you'll have trouble. Fact number five, and a rather shocking fact, actually. According to the French law, you can marry a dead person. Yes, you can. For that, you only need two things. The first one is the proof that this person, the dead person, wanted to marry you before. The second thing you need is the permission of the president of France. The last case approved was in 2017, when the partner of a gay policeman shot down by a jihadist in Paris was granting permission to marry his partner, even dead. <laughs> Don't leave me alone! I know, let's get married! <gasps> no! She said yes. Fact number six, the wedding white dress actually comes from France. The first white wedding dress was worn by Anne of Brittany in 1499 during her marriage with Louis of France. It's only later in the 19th century that other French brides decided to follow the lead of Anne. Brides from French aristocracy and bourgeoisie started to wear beautiful white dresses trimmed with silver and golden embroidery. Okay, now we are going to speak about some misconception that I heard about France many times and I want to talk about. The first one is French women don't shave. I've been to France so many times, there is one thing I don't get is most French women grow their habit hair. Why do they decide to not shave? This is not true. This misconception has been brought from the American soldier coming back from France after the World War II. They said that French women were hairy and this stereotype stick to them. But I can assure you that French women actually do shave. Of course, some of them don't and there is nothing wrong about this. It's not something specific to French girls. It's everywhere. 
sorry. <laughs> French was becoming bigger and bigger. So it was just trying to spread their territory among the world and try to face like England, Spain, also building colonies everywhere. So my guess they found the products like a good market in, uh, in Asia with uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, uh, which became like the Indochina. The decision to invade Vietnam was made by Napoleon III in July. 1857, that's very specific, July. So uh, yeah, I noticed a lot of people are still very upset against French. I, un I understand why people are upset, many people died. Obviously, it was all about money politics, but it's part of the past. There is nothing I can do about this. Is France the fashion capital? Because she's the most luxury brand from there. No, it depends where you are. As a French person, I love fashion. It's not, it doesn't mean I, dr I like to dress like, you know, fashion -y. But if you go into the countryside, you will see a big difference. <laughs> Probably because we don't have the same budget as the person living in Paris, you know. I'm not surprised when we say that France is the capital of fashion. I kind of agree with that. That's a big part of our culture, which we are proud of. Ah, the French kiss. <laughs> Did you know actually that the French kiss was is not really French? When Americans um, came to France, like to liberate us during the Second World War, they noticed how we kissed with a lot of passion. They were very surprised by the the big passion we put in, into the kisses. So that's why when they came back, they put this name of French kiss to the very passionate kiss. Yeah, we do love to kiss. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Of course, all every country has their own problems. France is uh, is in heaven or whatever. It's it is not. We have many problems. I'm not gonna speak for French people because every French people has their own opinion about what's going on. For example, it can be about immigration or about taxes or about anything. I think we should not complain. I never complain too much about my country because I feel very, very lucky to have been born there. There are so many people who are when, not lucky like me. I'm very lucky to be born in a country with very good health system, very good education. Even if we have problems, I think that's still a very nice country to live in. Talk about French cuisine. Mm. Is yeah. The liver of the goose, the tongue of the beef also, yeah, we love that. Do you still fear about other countries? We fear? It's not about fear. Mm -hmm. Myself, I love to try new things. That doesn't mean I'm going to like them, but I'm going to try them. I think we saw that many times. Oh my god, there, is, um, there are wings. What is it? Mm. Cockroach. No. Oh. For sure, we eat uh, very weird stuff. I mean, like, like you said, the snails, I love it. Le foie gras. Yeah. <laughs> Foie gras is uh, actually cruel because we just uh, put food in the goose until they... But it's delicious. For Christmas, we eat that for Christmas or the New Year here. It's a kind of fancy meal. Why will you eat the, the goose liver? What, what did you do about the rest of those? You just throw it away? Or... <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. It's probably better to not know. <laughs> I, I, you know what, funny you ask, I was watching uh, last time a video, uh, an interview, a French girl interviewing people in Paris, asking the girl, are French uh, romantic? Most of them say no. I think French are mostly sweet talker, but according to what I heard, they are not. Don't publish this. <laughs> Everyone knows now. I hate you. I don't like talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a croissant! <laughs> no, I, I, I read about this before. I knew it, but we just ignore it. That's some. Uh, the, also, another one. <laughs> the French fries are not French, they are Belgian. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I know. Of course, now we say croissant is French because, I mean, if you go to Austria and you will not... I, I've never been there, so I don't know. But my guess is you will not see as many croissants there than in France. So it's not about where it has been <laughs> invented. It's where it has been, like, developed and improved. <laughs> I miss it. Oh. Uh, in Paris, I think so. I never been, but I heard some stories. Yes, of a uh, pickpocket in Paris. Yeah, but I think it's in any other, any any capital, any big city. You'll have big pickpocket. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Please let us know if you want more content like this. 
And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you want. I will be happy to read and reply to your comments. See you next time. Bye bye, everyone. One, two, three. <laughs> no, don't leave me alone. Let's get married. Last moment. <laughs> don't fall asleep, Link. Let's get, let's get married. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, let me make you beautiful. <laughs> okay, ready? One, three, two. Okay. <laughs> 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 Pack number three <laughs> was uh, ba 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 ba.